Fill us with your power Live inside of me Welcome Holy Spirit We are in your presence Fill us with your power, live inside of me, you're the living water, ever flowing, ever flowing. Welcome Holy Spirit. Welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no deliverance. Holy Spirit. You're the living water. The ever-flowing fountain. Comforter and comforter. Take complete. with your power live inside of me you're the living water you're the living water ever flowing ever flowing fountain comforter and Let's 
lift your hands, hallelujah. We need you, Lord. Ever flowing. to come to you all ye who are heavy laden and burdened and my God you will give them rest so Holy Spirit we welcome you in the service tonight my Lord we welcome your power we welcome changes we welcome your presence my Lord and we ask you to come 
and have your way in this humble place of prayer tonight my lord oh father before we ask you for anything we just want to lift our hands and close our eyes to give you the glory to give you the honor to give you the praises oh god for there is none like you jesus from everlasting to everlasting you are god from generation to generation you are god we bless you tonight we praise you with your hands lifted and your eyes closed let's begin to worship the king of kings and the lord of lords we bless you tonight we praise you we worship you tonight we magnify you we give you glory we give you honor we give you praises hallelujah you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be adored you are worthy to be honored hallelujah as the musicians continue to play you just bless the lord praise him in advance of your hands in this deliverance service tonight my lord my god i pray that no one will leave here the same way they enter but whatever needs to turn i pray that you will turn it tonight i pray that whatever needs to change that you will change it tonight i pray lord that whatever is shut lord that you will open it tonight oh hallelujah Oh, we need you, we need you, we need you. Hallelujah. I need you. I need Let's lift your hands to the Lord tonight. Every hour I need you. Oh, bless me now. I see if I come to I need thee. We need healing tonight, oh God. together for the Lord give the Lord a hand clap of praise for we need you Jesus we need you more than life we need you more than the air that we breathe for you oh God are the reason of our existence 
You are our strength. You are our hope. You are the great defender, the young destroyer. Oh God, we bless you tonight. We praise you tonight. We worship you tonight. Lift your hands and just bless the name of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. We bless you. We praise you, Abba Father. We give you glory. We give you honor tonight. Come on. Thank the Lord in advance for what you are believing to receive by faith tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for breakthrough tonight. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We praise your name. We worship you, Jesus. We give you honor. We give you glory in advance. Lord, I thank you for somebody's healing tonight. I thank you in advance for, for somebody's deliverance tonight. Jesus, I thank you tonight, oh God, for silence in the voice of the enemy tonight. I thank you in advance for opening doors that the enemy has shut and shutting every door that the enemy has opened. Lord, we thank you tonight. Somebody thank the Lord for victory tonight. Thank the Lord for changes. Thank the Lord for open doors. Lord, we lift our hands to you tonight for you are the great deliverer. You are the keeper of our soul. You are the mighty deliverer. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, our Father. We worship you tonight. We worship you tonight. Hallelujah. I serve a God who never fails. I serve a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. I serve a God. I serve a God who never fails. I serve a God who never fails. Who never fails. I serve a God. Believe it tonight. Confess it with your heart. Make that confession. He never failed. There's no losing. No losing with Jesus. Jesus, Jesus never failed. He never failed. Jesus never failed. He never failed. Jesus never oh when I am weak he is my strength when I am he picked me up when I am sick Jesus is my healer Hallelujah, 
It never fails. Jesus 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 never fails. Jesus. He never fails. Jesus Jesus Lift your hands and pray to me. Say, Lord my God, I know that I am on the winning side. There is no losing, but you on my side. Have your way in my life. Take my doubts, take my fears, and fill me up with your faith in Jesus' name. And the church shout amen and amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Give the Lord a strong hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. God is good. Who's in faith? Who's believing God for something great this afternoon? Amen. In Jesus' name. So I have some good news for you. God will not disappoint you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at two or three people right now and say there is no disappointment with Jesus. God is good. Amen. So good to see you in the house of the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you have a prayer request, praise God, you may lift it up. And the servants of the Lord will go by and take it from your hands. If you are fulfilling a vow or you have your tithes. Praise God, amen. Come to the front. The, the pastors will come in agreement with you and speak a special blessing over your life. And those who are watching online, praise God, and you have a seat of gratitude, a seat of expectation, you may follow the information in Jesus' name. Praise God. God is good. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Mighty, mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. In just bow before heaven and earth and door. What a mighty God we serve. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of Jesus, 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 oh, what a mighty God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and shout hallelujah. God is good, amen. My friend, we got to praise God and worship God 
in spite of our present situation. Praise God. Amen. No matter what the enemy is trying to do, always have a praise. Hallelujah. Always have what? Always have a praise. Don't allow your present situation and condition to silence you. Always have a praise. Hallelujah. You're going through it. Praise God. Amen. But you're thanking God. I'm praising God. Hallelujah. Amen. Why should I thank God when I'm going through something, Bishop? I'm thanking and praising God because I know that what I'm going through is temporary. I'm praising and thanking God because what I'm going through. Are we here tonight, somebody? What I'm going through is temporary. Look at somebody tonight. Say, it's temporary. What I'm going through is temporary. So what I'm going to do? Am I going to have this sour face? No, I'm going to what? I'm going to praise him. I'm going to worship him. Come on, somebody, man. I'm going to tell people how good God is. Regardless of my present situation or condition. Don't allow the enemy to silence you. Especially when you find yourself going through, going through stuff. You know, sometimes you can, you can look at, at some people and tell that they're going through some stuff just because of their expression on their face. But let me tell you something tonight. Your expression doesn't change who God is. Amen? Your expression on your face doesn't change who God is. God is bigger than your present situation and condition. And that is why you must always come to him with what? With an, with an attitude of what? Of gratitude. What David says. David says, here do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why David was not living in fear? Because David trusted God in the valley. Because the God of the valley is the God of the mountain. Hallelujah. He trusted God when he was going what? Going through it. And that's why he maintained his composure when he was going through whatever he was going through. I know many people are here tonight, they're going through some stuff. And the enemy is trying to convince them that their attitude is going to move the hand of God. Is your faith. Is your faith is going to move the hand of God. Amen. Is your faith and your trust what in the God of the Bible is going to move God's hand to respond on your behalf. And it's so important that when you come to him, that you come with that spirit of expectation. You come to him what ready to what to receive. Lord, I don't know what you're going to do today, but I believe that you're going to I'm going to receive something big and that you're going to do something great in my life, especially as I'm believing for you to meet me at the point of my need. As I'm believing you to meet me at the point of my need where I'm expecting deliverance in, in, in my home. Peace and joy in my what? In my home. I believe that it's, it's, it's not too far gone for you to fix. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not too far gone for God to fix. Hallelujah. Look at somebody tonight and say, it's not too far gone for Jesus to fix. Some of you ain't telling nobody nothing because deep down you really don't believe. I said, it's not too far gone for Jesus to fix. No matter how bad it is, God is able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you need a dose tonight. God is able. God is able. And that tells me something so powerful. If you are here tonight, or maybe you are tuning in tonight, praise God, and, and you're going through some trying moments, praise God, and you don't know the outcome. Maybe the enemy is trying to convince you otherwise. Let me tell you something. Praise God. You're still alive? That means you're still alive to tell the story. God is keeping you as you are going through what you're going through. To tell what? To tell the story. Hallelujah. Somebody got to tell the story. Why it can't be you telling the story that I was once sick but now I'm healed. 
Why it can't be you telling the story that my home was destroyed, but I heard about a man by the name of Jesus and he restored my home. Amen. He's a fixer. And he's also a deliverer. And I'm believing God for, for somebody's deliverance tonight in Jesus' name. Go with me to the gospel of Mark chapter 5 verse 25. One of the most read passages in the Bible. Praise God. Amen. Gospel of Mark 5 25. Bishop, I read that this morning. Amen. We're going to read it again. Amen. Some of you know it by heart. and That's good for you. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. Jesus Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. When I am weak, He is my strength. When I am down, He picks me up. When I am sick. He is my healer. He never fails. He never fails. Jesus. Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse, verse 25. It talks about a story about a certain woman who had a severe condition. Amen? Let's read from verse 25 in Jesus' name. Praise God. Gospel of Mark 5, 25 in Jesus' name. Bible says, Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12, 12 years and suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. Let's stop here in Jesus. The Bible says, a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and she suffered. Please stay focused tonight. Praise God before I pray for you and believe God for your deliverance in Jesus' name. Bible says that this woman had a flow of blood for 12 years years and she also suffered many things from many physicians many things from many physicians bible even goes further to say that she spent all that she had and her situation did not get better but her situation get worse let me talk to you tonight do you know how many people been suffering under the hands of people? Do you know how many people have been suffering in, in, in their marriage? Suffering in, in their health? Suffering in their careers? People at times look and make a pact with the enemy to destroy, to make sure that this person never reached the place that this person so desired to reach. That this marriage will never be the marriage that God has intended it to be. That this person will always have to, to struggle to make it in life. There are many people suffering under the hands of people. Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh or blood, but against powers and principalities in high places. 
So the enemy is constantly working and using his agents to try to, to hurt, to cause damage, to cause pain in people's what? In people's life. The marriage that God has, has blessed and created it to be. People look at it and all of a sudden, just because their marriage or their home is not what it's supposed to be, jealousy fills their heart. And they purpose within themselves to go and to hurt people. They go and they try to, to dirty their hands. They go by the sea. They go by the river. They even try to go all their way to, 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 to get pictures of certain people to carry it certain places so that things can be done. My friend, you'll be so surprised how many people have been suffering silently, suffering in pain. They are prisoners in their own home. Sometimes they, they're suffering so much till they cry themselves to what? To sleep. They can't find their way. They come and they ask themselves so much question. Is this the life that God has for me? Is this what God intended for me? Sometimes I hear some people talk, if this is the life that God has in store for me, God, you better kill me. Because I'm not going to live like this. I'm not going to be in a home that is full of confusion. I'm not going to be in a marriage where I feel loved sometimes. I feel appreciated sometimes and majority of the times praise God, is constant confusion and division. Might as well, Lord, you take me. Unaware that many people hands is, is dirty. I remember one time we I went to, to a place called Toko in, in Trinidad, in my country. And myself and one of my friends, we were, we were driving. And as we were, were driving, we, we stopped on, on, this, on this rock. And we were saying, Let, let's, let's, let's eat something before we go further into the beach and bathe. And whilst we... we approached the rock and we pulled the vehicle over. There was a next vehicle there on the sand and the people that came from the sea were throwing stuff in the water. Throwing stuff and, and candles and all these things were, were by in, in broad daylight, you know. I'm not talking about the night. I'm talking about in broad daylight. So when they saw us, praise God, coming out of vehicle, praise God, amen. They just hurry up, do what they had to do, and they and they they bon voyage. They left. And my friend, praise God, amen. We went closer by the stand and we look and see, and they they had all these these things in, in, in bottles. All these things, and we look and we say, Wow. I said, My God, he said, My friend, the times that we're living in is very evil times. And you'll be so surprised what people will do to try to hurt and to stop and to kill and to make sure that this person don't reach the place that they so desire to reach. And as we see that, as we saw that which was on the sand by the water right there, because it didn't go in fully, and we just start to pray. We just start to pray, Lord. We say, Lord, 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 whatever it is, Lord, you destroy it in the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever the enemy has used his agents to do to bring pain or hurt or disappointment to your people, Lord, we, we, we paralyze it in the name of Jesus. And we began to pray, we began to pray, and as we began to pray, we just, we just felt more revolted in our spirit to, to pray even more against the work of what? Against the work of the enemy. Who knows what was in that bottle? It could be somebody's daughter name in that bottle. It could be somebody's husband name in that bottle. It could be somebody's grandchildren name in that bottle. That they wanted to make sure that this person don't ever have a good and happy what life. My friend, there are a lot of people suffering. And you don't have to come in agreement with me. I said there's a lot of people suffering under the hands of the enemy. But thank God for Jesus that says no weapon that forms against us shall prosper. 
And every tongue that rises shall be condemned. Some of you looking at me like if I'm crazy. The Bible says that no weapon that forms against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises shall be what? Condemned. So no matter what the enemy is trying to do, hey, God has already rendered it what? Powerless. And just like this woman, she was suffering, suffering in her health for 12 long years. Not, not, not 12 days, not 12 months, but 12 years. This woman was what? Was suffering. And she went to many physicians, many physicians. You see, when you're going through a situation, a condition, and you so have this burning desire to come out, at times we can be very desperate. We can be very desperate. And when you find yourself, praise God, amen, have being desperate to come out of that situation, that condition, praise God, amen, many times, we lean on our own what? Understanding. Understanding. Because nobody wants to be going through a situation like that. Nobody wants to, to go and live a life of defeat, shame, and disgrace, and humiliation. Nobody. Nobody. But at times when they find themselves going through what they're going through, they're so desperate. They're so desperate. And when you're desperate, you will find yourself doing desperate things. Because you have lean on your own what? Understanding. understanding. And sometimes our understanding will cause us to go certain places. And get involved with certain things because of what is taking place presently in our life. You don't like it. You don't like how you feel. You don't like what's coming against you. You don't like the condition of your home. You don't like what is, what is taking place presently. So you're desperate. I really, really want a change. And you are not patient to wait on God and trust God to work it out. So you start to lean on your own understanding and you find yourself going places. And listening to people when they tell you to do certain things, you, you're so desperate that you start what? You start to... Get involved and, and do it. Whatever they tell you to bathe with, you 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 willing to, 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 to wash your head from your toe. You don't even know what is in the bucket. Talk to me tonight, somebody. You don't even know the concoction, the mix up. But because of your desperation, you're willing to what? You're willing to do whatever they say to do unaware to you. You're making the situation even what? Worse. You're making the situation even what worse and spending money you don't even have. Spending money you don't even what have. Because whatever they ask you for, praise God, I mean, if you have to borrow from Tom or Mary, you're willing to take it. Am I making sense tonight, somebody? You're willing to take it, praise God, I mean, to what? To go and to, to give it to who? Oh, why? Because you, you're desperate. You really, really desire a, that change, that healing, that, that joy. You really desire to see that which you're really expecting to see in your home. So you're just willing to do, to do what? To do anything. The Bible says to trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He will direct you to healing. He will direct you to peace. He will direct you to joy. He will direct you to a blessed and fruitful life. I wish I'm talking to somebody here tonight. But if you lean on your own understanding, especially because you find yourself being what? Desperate. You're going to find yourself at the bottom of the barrel trying to fight your way up to come out from a place that you put yourself because of your what? Because of your desperation. The Bible says that she spent all her money and the situation didn't get better. The situation get what? When you lean on your own understanding and do things your way, the situation don't get better. The situation get what? The situation get worse. But one blessed day, hallelujah, 
The Bible said that she heard about Jesus. I don't know what she heard. Maybe she heard that Jesus was healing people. Maybe she heard that Jesus was delivering people. Maybe she heard that Jesus, praise God, was what? Was restoring life. I don't know what she heard. But whatever she heard, she believed, praise God, amen, that if he had done it for others, she was a perfect candidate to receive her miracle in Jesus' name. She believed. She believed that if Jesus was making things happen for people, if homes was being what? Restored. If marriages was being restored. If people's health was being restored. She believed, praise God, amen, that Jesus could have what? Could have done it for what? Could have done it for her. So what did she do? She said within herself, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I will be Heal. You see, when you start to believe that Jesus is able, your confession must change. When you start to believe that your situation, praise God, amen, can change, your confession must change. You can't believe it and don't start to speak it. Aye. You can't believe it and don't start to speak it. Once you believe it, you got to start to tell yourself on a daily basis, by his stripes I'm healed. I'm coming out for the glory of God. Things are going to get better. I said things are going to get better. Look at somebody tonight. I said things are going to get better. Hallelujah. Come on. Say things are going to get better. When you hear about Jesus, that means that healing is about to take place in your life if you believe it. What did she hear? But whatever she heard, she believed that Jesus was able to grant her the desires of her what? She was still bleeding. She was still going through a problem. She was still facing and battling that weakness. Come on somebody, amen. Falling down all over. My friend, you cannot lose that amount of blood and don't be anemic. She had to be weak. But in her weak state, oh my God. Hey! In her weak state, she still believed, praise God, amen, that Jesus was able to do something for her. In her weak state, she still believed that Jesus was able to do something for her, for something for her. And that's why she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I will be what? I will be healed. When she said it, she was not healed. She was still bleeding. She was still hemorrhaging. But she had to do something to exercise her faith, to draw power from God. Uh, are we here tonight, somebody? Amen. Now you might say tonight, Bishop, what does this have to do with me? What does this have to do with me tonight? I'm fine. Maybe there are some areas, an aspect of your life tonight that you are bleeding. Maybe you don't have a physical heart cut. Amen. Amen. But your heart is bleeding. Amen. Your heart is bleeding because of of maybe some wrong decisions you have made. If you are bleeding, mentally you confuse. You're tormented because of certain things that has taken place in your life. You're bleeding. You're hemorrhaging. Everything looks good on the outside, but you're bleeding on the inside because there is no joy in your home. There's no happiness in your home. You don't know if you come in or you go and you're bleeding. When you see people, you, you put on a nice smile, a little makeup, a little hairdo, a little trip to the beauty parlor, a manicure and a pedicure. Praise God, it helps at times, but yet still, you're still what? Bleeding. You're still bleeding. You try to fix up the exterior, but the interior is still what? It's still bleeding. I don't know where areas an aspect you are bleeding in tonight. Please stay focused, church. I don't know where you're bleeding. Maybe you hurt. Maybe you're hurting. Maybe your home is not the, the, the home you want it to be. Maybe the relationship with your children is not what you want it to be. Maybe you can't sleep in your own home. You're tormented. 
As fast as money comes, money what? Goes. You look at the money and say, wow, I'm supposed to be so far in life and have so much, but you have little. You're bleeding. Just like this woman. Bleeding. Twelve years this woman bleeding. But when she heard about Jesus, praise God, amen, she said within herself, if he did it for others, if he did it for others, I said, if he did it for others, he got to do it for me because one way or the other, my situation got to change. Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I don't care what the enemy is trying to do, but I know my situation and my condition, it must change for the glory of God. Are we here tonight, somebody? Amen. When you believe that your situation can change, you fight for a change. When you believe that your situation can change, what you fight for a change. I'm not talking about fight and stop. I'm talking about fight to the end. I'm talking about fight to the end. Believe God to the end. Hold on like Jacob. What Jacob said, I will not let you go till you bless me. The socket of his hip was out, but he's still holding on because he was mindful of that which God had promised him. Look at somebody tonight. Say, hold on. Help is on the way. you believe that God is able you fight for what you want to see ah you fight for what you want to see I'm bleeding but I'm pressing hey I'm bleeding but I'm pressing I'm in pain but I'm pressing I'm depressed but I'm pressing everything is falling apart right now but I'm pressing because I know that my redeemer lives and because he lives I can face tomorrow I wish I had somebody here tonight that really believe it. That's why I'm pressing. She could have quit and said, listen, oh, I spent all I had and I'm broke. I have nothing. There's something about nothing that calls Jesus' attention. Are we here tonight? Somebody is something about nothing because when all the materialistic stuff is gone, you still have something, and that's something you have the devil can't take away from you. That's something you have the devil cannot kill from you. That's something you have uh, the enemy cannot what rob from you. What is that, Bishop? Is your faith? Is your faith? Is your faith in God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is your what? Is your faith? Is your faith? Is your faith to do what, Bishop? Is your faith to bounce back? Ah! Is your faith to bounce back? No matter how he hits you, you keep on bouncing back because you know that God is able and he started the great work in you. He's going to finish it. Say God is going to finish it. Say God is going to finish it. Lift your right hand. Say my God is going to finish it. God is going to finish it. I said God is going to finish it. I said God is going to finish it. I said God is going to finish it. If he started, he is going to finish it. Are we here somebody? So she said, if I could just touch the hem, I will be healed. What she wanted? Healing. What do you want tonight? She wanted healing. But what, what do you want tonight? She wanted healing. And she got it. I said she wanted healing and she got it. I wanted deliverance and I got it. 
Come on, somebody. I wanted deliverance and I got it. I said I got it. Oh, I got it. And if he give it to me, he's going to give it to you. If he release it to me, he's going to release it to you. But the question is tonight, how bad you want it? Are we here tonight, somebody? How bad are you what? I'm certain that there were many people in that same region that was going through the exact same thing like this woman. But why are we reading about this woman? Because this woman purposed in her heart that she was not going to allow her, her what, her condition to silence her and stop her from being who God had created her to what? To be. Are we here somebody? Sometimes I reflect on, on my story being bound by a spread of addiction for years, crack, cocaine, cocaine, selling and doing. And so now I reflect and say, God, you're so good to me, God. You're so good to me, God. And so my eyes, God, I say, God, why me? Why me? You could have done it in many people's life. And so I'm God, but, but just speak this in my spirit. And he said, you wanted it. So you was willing to fight for what? You want Jesus said, I have set before you life and death, darkness and light. And then he says something so powerful. He said, Choose. He said, Choose. The choice is yours. Whatever you choose, so it will be for you. He wants you to live, but if you choose death, so it will be for you. He wants you to be free, but if you choose to stay in bondage, so it will be for you. He wants you to prosper, but if you choose to live in poverty, although he wants you to prosper, he can't do anything about it because you already choose. She made a choice. Because when she made that choice and said, if I can touch the hem of his garment, when she went to Jesus, the Bible said that there was a crowd. A crowd around Jesus. And she had to what? To press her way. And that speaks about her faith. Hallelujah. That speaks about her what? Her faith. When you want something. Ah. You got to press your way for that thing. Because the enemy is not going to just stand by and watch you receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your peace. Receive your deliverance. Receive that job. Reach to that place where you so desire to reach. Your enemy is not going to just stand by and say, go Mary. No. He will come. But when you want something in life, you, you keep on pressing. Bible says in the days of John the Baptist, till now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violence take it. Talk to me tonight somebody. The violence but take it by force. You got to take it by force. I know what I'm entitled to. So I'm here to what? Claim it. I'm here to name it. I'm here to claim it. I'm here to name it. I'm here to receive it. I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to believe for it. I'm going to stand on the promises of God for it. Because it's mine. Nothing in life is free. She had to press her way. She had to what? She had to what? She had to press her way. Sometimes we start pressing and then we just start to draw back. My friend, when you know what you are entitled to, you keep pressing. My home must be restored. My joy must be restored. Things must get better. Am I talking to anybody? Things must get what? must get better so I'm willing to do what, what I need to do 
Are we here tonight, somebody? Are we here tonight, somebody? Look at this verse. Let's read this verse here in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 28. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made what? I shall be made whole. I shall be made well. And immediately the fountain of her blood dried up. And Jesus felt in his body that she, and she felt in her body that she was what? Of the affliction. And Jesus immediately knowing in him that power. Somebody say power. power. Come on, say it like you believe it. Say power. power. Say power. power. Had gone out of him. Turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude? You see the what? Thronging you and you say, who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened. Come on somebody. Know what had happened to her. Came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her daughter, 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 daughter. Daughter, your faith. Your faith. Your faith has made you what? He said woman, your, your faith has made you what? He says, your faith has made you whole. That's you, what you were believing to see, that which you were, were pressing forth to accomplish. It has been released through, what, through your faith. When you come to church, you must come with that type of faith to touch Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When you come to church, you must come to church with that type of faith to what? To touch Jesus. You can't touch Jesus through your tears. You can't touch Jesus through your emotions. You can't touch Jesus trying to play the blame game, pointing fingers at this one and that one because of what you are going through. I'm bleeding and he's the one that caused it. I'm bleeding and she's the one that caused it. That can move the hand of God. What moved the hand of God is when you stop focusing on all the events that are taking a place around you and you just press forward to touch the hem of his garment so that you can be what? Healed. When you shut everything out and it's just you and God and God alone. God knows what you want. Ah, I'm going to rephrase it. God knows what you need. And that which you need can only be released by what? Through your faith and your trust in God. She had enough of the suffering. My God, my God, my God. She had enough of the suffering. Mm -mm, I'm going through this another day. The devil is a liar. She had enough of the suffering. I believe she was sick and tired of being sick and tired. After she heard what Jesus was doing, she said, the devil is alive. Why am I bleeding? Why am I bleeding and healing is coming my way? Why am I depressed and deliverance is coming my way? Why am I down and out and breakthrough is coming my way? The devil is a liar. If healing is coming my way, I want it. If deliverance is coming my way, I want it. If freedom is coming my way, I want it. If peace is coming my way, I want it. It's passing me by. I got to go and get it. I got to go and get it. It's available for everybody somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah it's an injustice for God to be healing people and you sick and still and still don't want to what to receive your healing My God, the same God of Bishop Angelo is the same God that we serve. 
and if he's blessing the bishop if he's blessing the ministry i want that blessing because the bible says that he changes not what he did back then he can do now are we here tonight somebody are we here tonight somebody she heard that people were being healed she heard that people were being what i'm not hearing you she heard that people were being what she heard that people were being healed and she wanted what what she wanted she wanted healing it's an injustice for you to hear what Jesus is doing in other people's life and you going through the situation and not partaking of the fruits. The devil is alive. I was talking to a young lady in our church in, 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 in Jersey because I stepped out of the church one day and there were a bunch of people, they were doing their thing and I looked at her and I said I said Jesus can set you free the first thing she said to me you don't know what I'm going through you don't know what I've been true you don't know where I'm coming from I said my sister I said you don't know what I've been through you don't know where I've been and she said all of you pastors is the same thing you try to play with people's emotions to make people feel like you really understand what they going through. Well, I'm telling you, I said, listen, well, I'm not one of these pastors. I said, crack was breakfast, lunch, and dinner for me. But I wanted to be free. Talk to me tonight, somebody. No, you might look at me tonight and go like bishop you bishop you yes no your thing that the enemy is trying to keep you in bondage with might not be crack cocaine or drugs but it could be a relationship that god has not approved it could be a relationship that god has not approved it could be something that you you you, you doing that god is not approved with. it could be something that you you're shacking up I'm going to break it down. And, and, and I said, you're shacking up. And God is no way in it. Are we here tonight, somebody? Yes. So it don't have to be exactly what, what kept me in bondage. It could be something else that is causing you to bleed. Am I making sense tonight, church? Am I making sense tonight, church? So she looked at me and she said, like, mm -mm -mm. You, say, you, you, you can't connect to me. I said, my sister, I've been there. I said, what, what, what you're doing right now, I, I've been there. I've been do I, I did that for years. I did that for years. And she tried to make so much excuses why, why she was going through it, why she, she, she was at the place where, where, where she is right now. And that is the problem with many, many people. But I can't understand when God is trying to bring them to a place where he can, can do something great in their life and sometimes send people to, 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 to shed some light. They try to, to, to make the person feel, praise God, amen, you don't know what I went through and, and I have a reason why this is happening. I have a reason why this is taking place. I have a reason why I am there going through this putting up with this thank you jesus putting up with this i have a reason why i'm putting up with this i don't have a choice yes you have a choice yes you have a choice i do have a choice because if i do this i don't know where i'm going to get my next bread from so I just have to settle for this right now. And that way many people, what? They, they make the same excuses. 
I remember exactly what she told me. She said, she said I was abused. And I looked at her. I said, you lived through it. <laughs> you still here to tell the story? I said, you could have died in it. But God kept you. Because he has a reason and he has a purpose to fulfill in your what? In your life. You see, you have to understand something, church. Whatever the enemy meant for bad, God will turn it around for good so that his name can be what? Glorified. No matter what he is doing, God can... God can what? Turn this thing around. Come on, say somebody tonight. Say, Lord, turn it around. Say, Lord, turn it around. Shut up, Abu Sia. Turn it around for me. Turn it around for my children. I said, woman, you, 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 you live through it to tell the story. Stop focusing on your yesterday. And look ahead. Better days are ahead. Greater days are ahead. Because God... Listen to me, because God has not finished with you yet. I looked her in the eyes and said, woman, God ain't finished with you yet. Don't quit on God. Keep believing that God is able. So when she touched the hem of his garment, the Bible said that power was released from Jesus. And her situation what? A situation change. I'm believing God to change somebody's situation tonight. I said, I'm believing God to change somebody's situation tonight. I don't know where you're bleeding tonight. Close your Bibles and stand on your feet. Hallelujah. I don't know where you're bleeding tonight. But I declare and decree that bleeding is going to stop. Lift your hands to the Lord. Hear my cry. Attend unto my From the ends Will I cry unto thee When my heart My heart is Lead me Lord That is higher than oh, for thou has been a shelter for me and a strong tower and a strong tower against my enemy. That is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower, and a strong tower again. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Jesus. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That is higher than. Just lift your hands as high as you can. That is higher than. That is higher than I. You are higher than I. You are higher than I. Oh, 
you are higher. You are higher than I. He's bigger than your situation. You are higher than Oh, hear my cry. Attend unto my Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus. Turn on to our prayer tonight. My God, your people are here in this faith. Believing that you are able to rearrange their life. So as we lift our hands up to you tonight, we pray that you will go from person to person tonight. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the Lord tonight. Don't let nothing distract you. As we are here tonight in this faith and in this accord, I pray tonight, my Lord, that you will go from person to person, from home to home, from life to life. My Lord, there are people here tonight, they are just like this woman with the issue of blood. They are bleeding in areas and aspects of their life in their health in their relationship they are bleeding oh god because of the pain the disappointment the setback the things that the enemy been bringing against your people my lord your people are bleeding my father but tonight i invoke your power and i pray that you will go and touch this person tonight from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet and begin to burn and destroy every affliction affliction that been caused by people's hands affliction that been caused by jealousy by envy by witchcraft affliction that been caused by their own wrong decisions oh god i pray tonight that you will begin to destroy every assignment of the enemy everything that the enemy has directed up against this person has directed up against the family I pray that you will break it oh God destroy it oh God burn it in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet I command every altar that been directed up against you tonight to be destroyed Destroyed every witchcraft, every jealousy, whatever candle the enemy has used against you. Tonight we bind it. Tonight we bind it. Tonight we bind it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be loose. Be loose from this jealousy. Be loose from this witchcraft. I command every witch, every warlock tonight to be under the fire oh god send fire oh god send fire oh god send fire and begin to burn up the work of the enemy tonight begin to burn up the work of the enemy tonight let there be deliverance let there be a change let there be a healing in jesus name oh servants of god walk around and stretch your hands over god's people tonight and what Whatever curse, whatever curse that the enemy has used people to lift up against you. I said God is burning it. I said God is burning it. Oh God, answer my fire. Answer my fire. Answer my fire. Lift your hands as high as you can. Lift your hands as high as you can. 
assistance be alert assistance be alert yes there are people here tonight God wants to deliver there are people here tonight God wants to set free oh God deliverance let there be deliverance tonight let there be deliverance tonight from every witch from every warlock in Jesus name go I said go 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 I said go right now I said leave leave the home leave the family you who are here tonight you've been tormented mentally you've been tormented mentally you can't find your way the enemy have you all confused but tonight the power of god the power of god the power of god yes deliverance i said deliverance tonight i said freedom tonight oh god reverse it I said freedom I said freedom I said freedom Fire Fire Freedom tonight Freedom tonight I said freedom tonight I said freedom tonight I said freedom tonight Lord all that candle Lord all that candle Whatever candle was lit Oh God blow it out Oh God blow it out Fire Lift your hands to the Lord Lift your hands to the Lord Something is breaking tonight Something is breaking tonight Jealousy is breaking Yes, you who are here tonight You can't sleep in your own house You've been tormented in your house You feel hands touching you You see shadows in your own house But tonight God is setting you free Tonight God is setting you free Tonight God is paralyzing every crippling spirit that been at work in your life in the name of Jesus lift your hands to the Lord say Lord my God come on in faith say Lord my God anoint my hands with your power anoint my hands with your anointing when I place my hands on my stomach everything that is not of you it got to come out lay your hands on your stomach right now yes if you feel something want to come out of you don't hold it in tonight tonight is the night of your deliverance Tonight is the night of your freedom tonight. Tonight is the night that every shackle, everything the enemy has used to tie you up and tie you down, be loose, be loose, be loose, be, be, be loose tonight. In Jesus' name, be loose, 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 be loose by the power of Jesus. I command you to be loose tonight. In Jesus' name, be loose. I said, be loose, be loose from that evil that was sent on an assignment. I said, be loose. I said, be loose tonight from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet you want to feel a fire you want to feel a fire burning inside of you tonight God is cutting away every shackle of the enemy tonight say Lord my God come on say Lord my God everything that been suffocating me say everything that been a sign to suffocate me mentally emotionally physically tonight uh, I bind it uh, 
I bind it. I bind it. In Jesus' name. 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 In the name of Jesus. Keep your hands there. Keep your hands there. Pray with me again. Say, Lord my God, I command every hemorrhaging, every setback, every generational curse, every curse word spoken over my life, my plans, my dreams my goals right now fire 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 in the name of jesus fire in the name of jesus watch it watch it fire 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 i said fire tonight i said fire on the work of the enemy i said fire on the work of the enemy i said fire in the name of jesus say lord my god by your power and authority i command every curse of spoken words over my family over my life my children's life I command it right now right now right now right now right now right now remove your hand and say loose me say loose me say loose me say loose me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say get out in the name of Jesus say get out in the name of Jesus lift your hands up to the Lord ah. freedom in Jesus name freedom in the name of Jesus Freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. 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 You're in a war. You are in a war. But tonight, the power of God is setting you free. I hear the Lord saying no more, no more, no more. I hear the Lord saying no more, my daughter, no more, my son. I have come to set you free. Shada freedom in Jesus. Fire! Fire tonight. Oh God, break it. Oh God, break it. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 Let her give her up. Give her up. Give her up. Give her up tonight. And enough. 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 Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Your time here is over. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this home. Your time in this relationship is over. It's over. It's over. Fire. In the name of Jesus. 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 
freedom tonight freedom tonight freedom in the name of Jesus freedom in the name of Jesus lift your hands and receive it you've been set free tonight you've been set free tonight by the blood of Jesus you are free you are free in the name of Jesus you are healed you've been empowered you've been strengthened God is lifting you up God is lifting you up God is lifting you up God is elevating you hallelujah in the name of Jesus say Lord my God say Lord my God I lift my hands thanking you for my freedom for changes for open doors in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in Jesus name and the church shout amen put your hands together for the Lord tonight put your hands together for the Lord come on you can do better than that put a strong hand clap of praise to the Lord tonight in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah say Lord my God I thank you for my freedom I thank you tonight for my peace for my happiness I thank you tonight for silencing the voice of the enemy from over my life and my family in Jesus name and the church says amen. amen thank God hallelujah God is good keep what you receive here tonight in Jesus name praise God amen hallelujah amen in Jesus name her bleeding stopped because of her faith in action when she touched the hem of Jesus garment hallelujah you're going to see a big change when you leave here tonight when you enter into your home you're going to feel the peace of God in your home when you enter into your home you're going to feel the peace of God into your home things that was closed look at me tonight things that was closed Praise God, amen, for you before you came here. You're going to see a, a, a wide door open for you. He says, I have a great and effective door has been opened up for you. Now check this out now before I finish. Now because her bleeding was stopped, now she could have what? Fulfill her what? Her purpose. Now she could have found someone to love her. Talk to me, somebody. Now she could have gone on, praise God, amen, and what? And accomplished great things for the glory of God. Why? Because now she was what? She was healed. I was telling a young lady the other day, I said, you know, came out of a relationship. And she said, Bishop, I'm looking for somebody else. I said, don't do that. I said, you're still wounded. I said, you need to heal. I said, you need to heal. Don't try to run into anything else. You, you need to what? You need to heal. And before God can do anything in our lives, praise God, amen, healing must take place. I bless you tonight in Jesus' name. I bless your family tonight in Jesus' name. I bless your coming in. I bless your going out. Somebody need to say, I receive it. In Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. I'm going to the top, 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 top. Hi. I'm going to the top, top. We will make it Don't matter We will make it 
Come on, put your hands together. Don't matter what. Look at somebody say, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Say, see you at the top. We're going to the top, 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 top. We will make it. Hey. We're going to the top. Yes, we will. I'm going. We will make it. Hallelujah. Don't matter what. We're going to make it. Amen. We're going higher. We will make it. Go on, let's rejoice. We going We will make it. We going We will make it. We going higher. We will make it. Hallelujah. We live in God's house, but we are never leaving His presence. In Jesus' name, praise God, Amen. Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed? In Jesus' name, praise God, Amen. So let's honor the house of the Lord. Lift your pocketbooks, lift your wallets right now. In Jesus' name, praise God, Amen. Hallelujah. And before it slipped me, praise God, Amen. Bishop and the team will be back on Monday, Amen. And he's calling everyone out in that powerful winner's night this Monday coming. Amen. So whatever you do, put it on your calendar. Don't miss it. Praise God. Amen. Monday coming, Bishop and the team will be back from the Holy Land. Praise God. Amen. And he's going to have a powerful winner's night service. Bring your projects. Bring your plans. Bring your goals in Jesus. And we're going to have a wonderful time. Praise God. Amen. In the house of the Lord in Jesus. name. Praise God. Amen. To God be the glory. And this Sunday, I want to see you in God's house as we worship the true and live in God. Amen. Lift your pocketbooks, lift your wallets. Father God, we thank you for what you have done and for what you have released tonight in Jesus' name. Praise God. Whatever your people are about to give tonight in your house, my Lord, I pray that you will multiply it and increase it. My Lord, if you are laying in someone's heart to sow a special seed tonight, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will step out and answer your call in Jesus' name. I declare increase. I declare promotions. I declare those who are struggling. My Lord, I declare that God is making a way right now for you in Jesus' mighty name. Those who came in here unemployed, I release the job and the salary of your heart's desire. I declare by next Friday, you will come with a testimony in Jesus' name. I release documents, papers, Yes, in the precious name of Jesus. And those who believe it, say, I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Please, those who are online, follow the information. Sow your seed in Jesus' name. Honor the house of the Lord in Jesus' name. Come, let's bless the work of the Lord tonight in Jesus' name. Praise God, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to the top, top, top. I will make it. We going to the We will make it Don't matter uh -huh. We will make it Don't matter We will make it I'm going
I'm going We will make it I'm going We will make it I'm going to the top, top, top Yes, I will make it I'm going to the top, top We will make it Hallelujah Lift your hands, let's do the last prayer in Jesus' name, oh Bishop, I'm still bringing my offering to bless God's house. Praise God, amen. Well, we will wait on you in Jesus' name. Praise God, lift your hands. Let's do the last prayer in Jesus' name. Pastor Grace, you want to do the last prayer in Jesus' name for God's people? Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Lift up your hands to the Almighty God. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. This is the day that you have made. Your children have received the word and they are running with it because they are the head and never the chair and they are above, never beneath. They are conquerors, my Lord, my God. They are leaving your house, but they are never ever leaving your presence. I pray that you bless them and keep them. I pray that you show yourself mighty in their ways. Be gracious unto them. Be gracious, my Father, unto your people. Let your light shine in their paths and give them peace that pass all understanding. Give them traveling mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Let the people say, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you.